First after sound here from androtechblackspot.com right now with Galaxy Note. I'll be showing you how to flash official Cyanogen Mark 10 using Jelly Bean on your Galaxy Note for AT&T, Rogers, Bell, Talos, any AT&T or any Galaxy Note that is LTE. So let's go ahead and get to the flashing process. First of all you'll need to go ahead and have latest Clockroma recovery or TWRP recovery. If you wondering which clockroma recovery you're running or if you want to flash the latest clockroma recovery you can go ahead and go to play store install ROM manager and from there when you open the ROM manager hit the first tab that says flash clockroma recovery and select AT&T Samsung Galaxy Note i717 it will have option for that scroll down and that's how you upgrade your clock on my career just told you basically now we are going to go ahead and flash Cyanogen Mark 10 on your Galaxy Note. To put in clock on my we are going to press power up, power, volume up, volume down, all three buttons, same time. Screens goes off, first wiper, let go the power button, keep pressing other two buttons you'll see Samsung screen and then you can let go the other two buttons I think I just rebooted my phone I'm gonna go ahead and do it again keep pressing the both all three buttons first ever let go the power button keep pressing other two you'll see Samsung logo right there And there you go. That's how we boot into Clock Omari Curry. As you can see, we are I have regular Clock Omari Curry version 5.8.4.8. We're going to go ahead and wipe data factory reset. Volume scroll or volume rocket to scroll and power to select and that's the process it's showing you right there again wipe data factory reset we do it third time just to be sure everything is wiped Once that is done, we are going to wipe cache partition twice. We want to make sure there is no app caches left from the last setup. Then we are going to go to advanced, wipe delu cache, and wipe delu cache. That's it. Go hit back button. Here you're going to go install the from SD card. That's the first internal SD card. Hit that go find the sign of the Martin I have it there and right there we are flashing the official sign of the Martin on your Galaxy Note Installing update. That's what it's saying right now. If you cannot see it, but you can leave the phone alone while it's flashing. Don't do anything because you might end up stopping the process, then which will stop break. And I always recommend backing up before doing this. So if anything goes wrong, you can always have your backup that you can restore and be happy with it then we are going to go back again go to download this time that's where I have my jelly bean google applications you really need this because all your gmail and stuff is gonna be in this
Once that is done, go ahead and press back button, press power, which will reboot your system. As you are seeing right now, it is taking time, so please don't do anything. I'm not doing anything, and you will see it will boot up. There you go, you heard the vibration, and you will see the new Cyanogema 10 boot animation that you saw before when I messed up. There you go, that's the boot animation for Cyanogema 10. This is running Jellybean 4.1.1. It's the most smoothest ROM, which is using Jellybean. Plus, it has features that most ROM don't. And every ROM mostly is based on Cyanogen Mark 10 or Cyanogen Mark. Like, if you talk about AOKPs, code name. Code Fire, Slim Bean, Paranoid by Android, they are all based off this ROM. They just have their own customization and stuff. And but this is the father of all those. So and that's how we flash this ROM. So we just flash official Sanajima 10 on your AT&T Galaxy Note. Please go ahead and like my videos down there. Subscribe down up here like down there subscribe up here kind of 69 position and thank you for watching guys next video will be full review of your sign of 10 on your galaxy notes